Hello, welcome to Luno Sweet Creations. Today we are making these super cute pinwheels with sugar paste and edible paper. What you'll need is a square of wafer paper in the size and pattern you desire, a piece of sugar paste in the main color of your wafer paper, piping gel, some scissors, a big straight knife, a wooden skew or toothpicks and a rolling pin. Start by rolling your sugar paste out about 2 mm thick and verify that it's wide enough to fit your square of wafer paper on it. Turn your wafer paper square upside down and brush all over it with piping gel. Work fairly fast so the piping gel doesn't dry out and glue it immediately on your rolled out sugar paste. Make sure the entire square of wafer paper is well sticked and work from the middle out to avoid any wrinkles. Now with a knife trim off the sugar paste excess and cut all four corners with the scissors. To cut it correctly cut a line starting from one corner pointing the scissors to the opposite corner. Cut only two thirds up and not right until the middle. Do that with all four corners. Use a little bit of piping gel to glue the first corner in the middle of the square. Make sure you always fold the same side of each part or triangle, meaning that if you have folded the right side of the first part, keep on folding all right sides of the other three parts. For the middle you can use a little ball, a little flower or a button made of sugar paste. Just use a silicone mold to make your life easier and stick it with piping gel in the middle of your gorgeous windmill. If your folds are drying too flat you can always stick a piece of kitchen towel or foam to let the loops dry a bit rounder. You can also fold the corners to the opposite side of your square where there is no wafer paper and have the wafer paper on the outside of your windmill. If you want to stick them on a cake or a cupcake, you should let it dry for at least 6 hours and only after make a little ball of sugar paste and stick it on the back of the windmill together with a toothpick for the little ones or a wooden skew for the bigger ones. Thanks for watching, I hope you liked it and if so, don't forget to comment, put a thumbs up on my video and subscribe my channel if you haven't done so yet. I hope to see you next week, bye bye!